Earn new ones through your experiences, through exploring, through leveling up, uh, through interacting with certain people and doing certain types of quests. So we go to US. The stream is not dead. No, did it? Oh, did it die? It did die. Whoops. We're back. Hello? There we are. So, the game died on me, not the, uh... Or my internet died on me, not the game. Okay. Well, that sucks. I was in there. I was in there for so long. And now we're out. Hi, guys. It's good to be back. Hi. We're now back in waiting hell. Oh, I had it. U.S.? No, not Eastern Parallel. We're U.S. Ah, oh, crap. I was trying to refresh it. And it sent me down a dark, dark path. Dang it. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Xavier. Yes, that was sadly. That was... Well, we're gonna see. We got in. We got in Xana, dude. We played for a bit. We absolutely played for a little bit. Parallel Pass. Yes. Come on. Uh, no, we, we had a, we had a server set. It was Parallel Pass. Stop this madness. We had a server. No. No, Sirix Navi. No, 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 no. It changes. You actually get to select. So what happens is, if you want to meet up with a, or play with somebody very particularly, as long as you're on the same server, um, when you start your character creation, you answer a series of questions and tell what direction you want to start in. In a compass direction that'll tell people that that's where you start so everybody starts in a little different place based on how they answer those questions and on what direction they choose I'm appearing on the western side of the continent and based on the things that I said the story is a little different because of the, the character Europe, US come on refresh network info And also, you won't you won't come across uh, people typically like super easily. So, um, set server. Done. Okay. What I selected? Peril. Light in the forest. Oh, it's all gone now. We gotta leave and come back. Ah, game. So yeah, you'll come across like one or two people. And, like, there may be, in reality, like, a hundred people in one particular spot. But you'll only see a couple. Because it wants, intentionally wants your encounters with other people to be rare. It wants them to be special. So that way your interactions with them are a little more intimate. And uh, to incentivize uh, playing with who you get. If that makes sense. Playing with who you get. Boom. Eastern Parallel. Okay. Oh, come on! Crapped out on us. So close. Yet so far. We're doing this on Wednesday. I... We're about to beat Shining Force 2, but... I'm sorry. I've got to get in on the zeitgeist of this one. This is... I don't typically do that with games. I don't care about the zeitgeist very much, but in the case of this one, I very much do. Yeah, I have a server selected. Don't, don't do this nonsense. Light in the forest. Let's do it. Brute force it. Be my light in the forest server. Get me back in this game, if only briefly. It's interesting. Xander dude, by the way. It's such a me game. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's opaque. 
It is. A lot of its mechanics are obfuscated and unusual and obtuse. Oh, we're stuck in the login. <gasps> yes! Enter. Oh, we were right there! I had to be quicker on the inner war game. Right there. We were right there. We had it. We had it. A brief moment of. Just. We were so close. Auto click? What do you mean, auto click? Tell me more of this auto click you speak of. Watakaki. It's trying. It takes a second sometimes. I was like, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can get you in. Oh, sorry. It's just a giant swath of people trying to climb in. There. Oh! It hurts when it does that. It hurts when it flashes that character's like screen at me. It's taunting me. The light in the forest is but a glimmer. the root. Oh! I understand. I understand, game. Here we go. This is the one. Hanging out over here. Hanging out over here. Come on, light in the forest. Be my light in the forest. Oh! Oh, come on! Come on, game. Oh, come on, game. Come on, game! Oh, you stinky game. You have to click on the character. I can't just hit inner world, can I? Maybe I can. There we go! Uh, uh, ooh, uh. Oh, we're back! We're back. We're back. We're back. Okay. Effect cards. Yes. Effect cards show the detail of the temporary penalties or boons which are affecting you. Okay, I'm empty handed, which allows me to, to move. Uh quicker. Because I don't have anything on my primary hand. Hey. There's a spirit hanging out here too. Like you can you can see it, it's right there. But I don't know how to interact with it. Alright, so it told me to take the northwest road. To the West Verb Junction. Also, hold on. Crossings Fabric, Rehan, Senvaska Smithy, yeah, House Under the Trees, the Tea Place, the Milliwack Weavery, yeah, this is Crossing, so we want to go this way. The Soup Bird Field, Milliwack Hemp Field, Thompson Abba Fields, Abba Family Warehouse. Yeah, we want to go to the road northwest. Um, and you can place notes. Alright. Also, um, skill book. So this is how you do spells. So a line is a knot that I can use that allows me to see ghosts. Relive your memory from a line. Okay, we're, we're, cast, we're casting a knot. Right? Have I done so? Skills. All right, right-clicking on a skill card gives you a detailed description of it, and it also displays a learn option. Learning a skill consumes the skill card permanently and adds the skill to your skill book. Connected to the winds. And through, though nothing stops you from learning skills associated with any wind, skills related to your form's wind affinity, or west, uh, are less costly to memorize. The skills associated wind is shown as a skill description, and actions are mundane, uh, permanent skills that have no wind affinity connect to them. Wow, there's a lot here. Yeah, she got every knot sign you see. 
uh, Maze, I have not seen very many. And welcome to the stream. I haven't, I just have started. I have not seen any not signs. And I will if I see them. Absolutely. Um, reagents to use, regardless, okay, skill type. The knowledge point cost to have a skill memorized is shown underneath each skill icon. Few skills, mostly commonly action skills, cost zero KPs, uh, making them free to memorize. You begin your adventures with only one knowledge point. As you gather experience on your travels, you soon earn more. Each new level you reach will grant you an additional knowledge point. Thus, at level 5, you'll have 5 KP. Level 10, you'll have 10. Your unassigned and max level KPs are displayed at the bottom of your skill book. Okay. Allow yourself to choose to specialize by having only a few KP costly skills memorized or to play more as a jack of all trades and focus on a higher number of skills with lower KP costs. You may at any time unmemorize a skill to free up KPs, but this is a time consuming process and may have further temporary repercussions as described in the section honing your skills. Interesting. Some skills can be honed and will evolve with time and use right click on a skill to display its full description Look for the honing notches below the skill icon by using the skill often or simply having it memorized for longer periods you'll automatically hone the skill making it more and more effective over time take note that when you unmemorize a skill all the skills honing notches are lost it's therefore wise to be mindful and reordering your skill build not all skills can be honed however so when you need a temporary reordering of your skills and memorize skills that lack honing notches may be the better option okay so in my book right now I have this added Okay, so that's there. Reagent's pouch. Okay, so yeah, you need certain ones for it. So when you right-click a line, we need three mirror ash leaves and three whispering orchids to, to cast that. It allows us to see ghosts, which is nice, since it looks like this place has a lot of them. What is that? What did I see? Oh, that's the nut thing. What does that mean? Hold on. So that's the not sign. So what does that do? We're going northwest. Hey, look. Hot house. You can move to the foreground and the background, so I can like move back to talk to this guy. And things like this, but I have a particular quest that I want to do before I go to sleep. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters, of course. Of course, like we're Ghostbusters. Come on now. I'm taking it slow. I don't wanna. One, I want to keep an eye out for any ingredients that I can gather in my journeys. Um, what's also great is that I can pocket things in my shirt. It has a pocket, a singular pocket, but a pocket nonetheless. Do you have the normal survival mechanics eating? Uh, yes. So those do happen. So what happens here is you got your energy and your stamina. Your energy goes low. You need to eat food. Uh, and the same thing with your, your stamina and stuff like this. So that stuff it will regenerate through your usage of running is uh, a usage of your stamina and stuff like that and your energy. So that stuff goes down when you're in combat, when you're trying to run instead of walk. Um... If you don't get rest over periods of time, those sorts of things are important. But it's not, it doesn't seem to be super daunting, so that's helpful, at least. I'm sad. Oh, there's something over here. See, when I stopped moving, I could see it. It glowed. If you move slowly through the environment, you tend to see this stuff a little more easily. Crocus root. But there's also, there's a spiritual side to this stuff. Like you can go pray to places based on your spiritual ability. You're able to commune with those spirits and what that means. I have no idea yet. I have not done it. Um, yeah, we're traveling alone. So we go west to the Westburg Junction. Um, and then we can take a ferry to Bat Saha. These are the railroads. 
Welcome to the Western Verb Junction, Traveler. Trains for crossing in Saram Field leaves from the central platform. Be aware, though, that the train does not actually stop at Saram Field. I wish to alight there. You have to jump off the moving train. Regulations dictate. I only suggest this course of action to passengers traveling light. Where is about to Saha sails from the northern pier. All of the train and ferry destinations have been temporarily discontinued by orders of the coroners. If you require priority class travel, you can have your train and ferry passes to trade. On behalf of the junction staff, I wish you a fruitful and safe and journey. There is no money. Uh, so you do it only through trade. So, for instance, I have a not with meaningless message. It's a trade good. It's a value of two. It's, uh, you don't get two coin. You are exchanging it for something else. So if you have like three things that are have a value of like 12, you can now get something from somebody else that has a 12 value. Trade only. These acorns I need. Give me the acorns. Then we're heading north. Cuz my um Dock hands. Yeah, we gotta go to the dock. Toy missing a piece. There. Ship spotting child. Hey there, tall one. Can you see any ships out to sea? We spot ships and draw them in out, uh, out ship spotting book. We have spotted 12 different ships so far. We also mark how many times we've seen each ship. It's great fun. So there's different yeah, ship types. Once we spotted a ghost ship, it was so scary the drawing of it is just a blur because my hand was shaking so much. So let's look at the map. Okay. So yeah. Uh, the depot pier is where we need to go. So we need to go down here to that. The depot pier is going to take us to the Batsaha. Oh, I'm in the shallow waters. I'm wet. Your clothes are soaked and discomfort drains your energy. Sit by a fire to dry them. Whoops. So if travel makes a cool breeze, mild the journey's wind. I'm taking it slow, by the way, because I don't want to waste my my energy yet. I don't know how much that's going to take in a, to effect. I have no idea. There's a lot to gather here. Savella so leave. Ah. The wet is going down slowly. Char mustard. Map. Yeah. The depot piers right here. Chin band for the sick. I get arm belts. Oh okay, I got I can wear those. Right? I get arm bands. Where do those go? They have pockets too. Oh waste. Awesome, I got a pocket. So if you have anything that's of great importance and that you want to keep that bandits can't take, you put them in your pockets. So there's something fun starting a new D&D game session soon. It's set in critical roles at Xandria, but it's also after a thousand years of flooding. Basically fantasy water world. Nice! So we wait for the boat here. Worn jute boots. Official not message. So there's nothing I can do with those except trade them in. But the jute boots. 
Oh, okay, so this is mechanics minus one, but it also gives me protection. Better than these, the bigger foot wraps. Increases my speed by one, but it makes my sociality minus one, which is kind of big. So we're gonna rest. Just gonna wait for the boat. Recharging stamina. Nice. Sakura, I dig it. I'm so glad you got some D&D &D going. So now we wait. We're waiting for this boat to arrive. Right? This is another thing I love. I love waiting for boats. Almost level 2. I'm halfway there. Almost halfway. Um, let's see. Good. These don't take up inventory spaces, which is nice. Protection and growth effects. I want to know... You can take your hood on and off. It's funny. You are dry. Yeah, so we have to wait. The light top cliff. Very EQ. Waiting for the boat, eh? Exactly, Xana dude. This is gonna take me to Bot Shop Bot Saha. Which is supposedly Interlocking mechanism parts. Uh basically uh, like a spiritual place. It's gonna teach me a little bit about the spiritual uh aspects of the game. Life petals three. You keep you alive in the world. You lose a life petal each time you lose all your energy. Beware of losing all of your life petals and take good care of your body in the travels. Is there a way to call this boat? I'm like worried. Boat hands, they don't have anything to say. Will it come? Well, we're still enjoying this time. Also, the day-night cycles are super long. Oh, hold on. Zoom in. You can zoom in a little bit. Just a little bit. I wish I could zoom in more. So this is interesting, right? This more to this overall map and like we can zoom out. Yeah. So yeah, that's a Batsaha. And there's a mirror that also would take you over to mirror. Huh. I'm worried that I'm gonna miss the boat. Day night in real time, I think. Oh, Zetasaurus, is it? Interesting. Oh, something popped up. Coagulated engine oil. I don't know what it what it does. Let's see. I, okay, that's gonna be another thing for crafting. <clears throat> Zetasaurus, how's it going, by the way? What? Do you know about the boats? Like, do the boats actually come at a set time? Do I have to wait for them? Am I going to miss the boat? Hello? Are they going to call for when the boat gets here? Pure soot. Questions I have. Cute Grogu. Yes, Grogu. Stuck to the deck hands. I'm running. Yeah, look at how much that drains your stamina. Or it creates worth.
Well, I guess the kids would tell me to. They're ship spotting children. That's what they do. Endeavors. Endeavors are challenges that require considerable effort. After often requiring you to employ them together with other travelers to stand a chance to overcome them. Whether individually or as a group, endeavors often test... Oh, can I not be in the water? Thank you. Um, the challenger's talents in either mechanics, spirituality, physicality, or sociality. Some endeavors require only a number of participants to join in an effort and disregard talents altogether. Once the trial of an endeavor is overcome, those involved may expect reward of various kinds. Items, boons, lore, or access to hidden areas to name but a few possibilities. Contraption appears to hide something within, its, within it. Without mechanical skill, nothing can dismantle it. <laughs> so are we working on this? What is this? Okay, it's it's filling up a bar. It looks like maybe. False alarm driftwood. I think I need another person is what that's saying. Right? Yeah. I need assistance to solve it, yeah. for the ferry to Batsaha. Okay, this is the pier for the ferry to Batsaha. No, I need... Whoa, I need a bunch of people. Boat. Boat. Oh! No! Boat! Mahita says, on my way to help! to this guy. The boat made me crash the boat. It's thinking. Huh. Come on. Come on. Well, we learned something. Thank you! Oh my goodness! Thank you, Cyrex. Cyrex. Thank you for the follow. It's greatly appreciated. We're going to be playing this a bunch. Kind of going to consume my life. It's going to consume my life. Yeah, the servers are gone completely. There we go, US. US servers are not there. Europe. Europe servers are there. U.S. servers, not a one. Interesting. I am fascinated. I will probably also... I'm not going to lie, I'll probably also play on my own. Let's exit and come back in. If I have some free time, I'm probably going to spend some time exploring and grinding and... Just figuring it out. Is there a way to tell time of day in game other than the sun? So I don't know if it's real time or not. Someone in chat has said that it is, but I don't know if it is or not. Ah. My cat is attacking my headphone cable. US. Sakura, I am literally tearing this place apart to find my Switch. 
to be able to do some degenerative gambling. We have to get the season over before the year's done. The degenerative baseball gambling must end. Must conclude. So my initial reaction is one, we haven't done much. We have walked from where we started. We woke up in a sheep field, uh, battered and bruised. Uh, we had lost one of our life leafs. And we're told to go east, uh, south to the road and take it east to the tea place to get some stuff. It's going terrible, Sakura. So we've taken apart the kids' playroom, the office here, and the living room, and our kitchen. We have to go upstairs now. That's the big... Let's see how the uh, European servers go. They're all asleep. They're waking up right now. No, it's already gone. Yeah, the servers are foobar. Oh, man. We almost had it. Well, let's go see. I'm going to probably call it a night then. Because <clears throat> we're not going to get in again. For just a couple minutes. And it's almost 1 o'clock in the morning. Let's go see somebody to raid. See if there's anybody who's actually playing it right now. Um, book of travel. If you were a tree. Oh, shush. I was like the only one. There's a couple people here. Oh, someone's doing a rerun. Um, so Splash Effect is playing. Let's go see them real quick. Let's go see what they're about. Why not? Yeah, let's go raid them. They're playing the game, right? Oops. Let's raid Splash Effect. I don't know anything about them, but that's okay. Oh, look, don't be sorry. I got to play some. I got to play some. That's all that matters. They got some Star Trek on there. That's cool. So let's go say hi. They're wandering as well, like we are. All right, everybody. I'll be back Wednesday. We'll be playing more of this. I might be playing some ahead of time without you guys. Sorry. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. All right. Bye. Woo.